Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see some basic uh, commands need to be done while configuring the router. Okay. Now I am configuring the two router. I am just assigning the IP address of each interface. Sixty-eight one two five eight. I'm just going to say that how to enable the remote login and what are the things must configure before enabling the remote login. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address. Ninety-two, one sixty-eight, one dot two, two five five, two five five, two five five dot zero. Now shut. Ping, one ninety-two, one sixty-eight, one dot one. You are not getting ping response. The reason is other end you are not given no shit command. You can check that by this command. You can see here port is up and line protocol is up. So it should reach all right. Why it's not reaching? Check that. But in real time, it should show line protocol should be shows down. Okay, but I given no shit. Anyway, no issue. Now you can check success rate is fine. Okay, now the remote login is enabled. I am considering this as a PC. Sorry, now the reachability is enabled. Now we are. I am going to telnet. 192.168.1.1. See, password required but not set. Because if you enable remote login, you need to set a password. That is enable password. First, I will con. I will set a some username. R1. Password. Um, let it be Cisco. See. Password care button set connection. Even I set the password, it's not coming. I'm I'm setting the enable password. That also you need to set when you are giving remote login. I'm setting any password as Cisco one two three. Will this error fix? No. See, this error is difference. Trying to open. Okay, connection closed by foreign ghost. It means it is not receiving any response from the remote devices to allow the remote login. Before that, I will remove this password first. Then only I can show you another another one. Now I, how to how to fix this one? Now I need to set line with you. Before that I will show you. Show run. See. You need to enable this one. VTI line VTI zero to four C this command is mandatory to provide that you are must login from remote. Okay. Now 
now what is the username you created r1 password cisco username r1 password cisco right same login what is the username you created maybe we given a clear text only oh c caps okay r1 see now you can see see you are not able to <coughs> enter the enable because the enable password or enable secret password must set exit enable password cisco to the cisco one to the yeah so the main agent of this lab is i just want to show how to fix the remote login issue because if you want to enable the vti you have to give this command to activate this port okay so we will see uh, another troubleshooting area how to enable the sshgh in the next video before that i will show you the sshgh might not log in here username cisco 192.168.1.1 connection refused by so yes as such see so we will see in the next video how to configure the yes as such okay i hope this this small video helps you how to how to fix the remote login issue the mandatory command while you're bringing the router into production you must configure the username and password and enable and secret password and the remote login should be enabled by giving that command and the vti interface okay that is the agenda of this lab i hope in you enjoy please give your feedback by posting the comments in comment section okay um, thanks thanks for thanks for watching the full video bye